Okay, right now we're at Ziggy's Healthy Grill in Houston, Texas. People showed up and then we watched Abstinence Comes to Albuquerque and then we watched a couple frequently asked questions with experts in the field, both on the comprehensive sex education side and the abstinence only side, and then uh, we held a round table discussion about it. What they talked about was, okay, uh, look, first to start with little things, okay, your armpits smell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they give you a bag with like a little red stripe. They, you, yeah, you, you, red you, stripe pays for that. <laughs> They explain, you know, they explain that there is there's semen uh, that your your penis can't produce. Okay. So they separated the boys and the girls, right. and they played a yeah. video for the boys to tell us yeah. about like semen and. I remember that. I was that. always curious yeah. what the boys' yeah. movie was. I never got to see and it. And they, they, they it showed like a, a relaxed penis. Right. I did not know what it was. No one had really received any sex education. They might have had a reference to it by a gym teacher, or someone might have been tired to come into the schools. My mom awkwardly told me one day that you know what, what, my husband, your father, and I, we had to have sex to have you. It is a natural <laughs> process. There is nothing to be afraid of. His dad walked into the room and said, don't have sex, don't do drugs, and then walked out of the room. They never actually received any true information, and so they had to kind of learn from it from the media or movies and TV or just their friends.